Hello everyone, welcome back. This is going to be a reading for all Sagittarius placements, okay? If you have Sagittarius anywhere in your chart, this reading might resonate with you. Alright, so let's see what's going on with my beautiful Sagittarius energy today. What is the important message, please? And thank you for Sagittarius. Alright, let's see. What is the important message, please, for Sagittarius at this time? Okay, so we have the Two of Cups and the Knight of Cups. Okay, so there's an outfit here, Sagittarius, <clears throat> from a water sign, maybe, where somebody is offering some sort of apology. I'm also getting here, too, Sagittarius, you're going to have, like, drinks with someone. You can be sitting at a bar, yeah, with the Ace of Cups. I'm definitely getting something like a drink. You're going to have drinks, or you could be drinking right now for some of you, but... I feel like um you could be dealing with your, maybe you're listening to maybe get like your favorite music right now, but I feel like you are falling in love with a certain song. So while we have the Ace of Swords, okay, we have the Devil and the Three of Pentacles. Okay, so hmm, you are. I feel like whatever this love or whatever this connection is or this proposal is, it is it's bringing you really good major clarity on a certain situation or or on just like this group or just people so i feel like you are getting some, some sort of advice from one of your like your friends or your lover okay and somebody is really i feel like y'all both are like-minded people okay i feel like somebody is encouraging you giving you really good truth okay they're making you realize that something is like is toxic or somebody is a hater or somebody is uh, addictive or a, a obsessed of, of something like that Somebody's like, nah, man, that person, something ain't right with that person or something is just off with that person or something you need to. Yeah, somebody is, um, I feel like somebody you knew you were talking to or it don't have to be new. Just somebody who you care for, you love for is giving you good advice as far as something, okay, that, that you know, that seems very dark or wicked maybe or just toxic, all right? You also, too, could be dealing with a Capricorn, so let's go around again. Let's see what's going on with my beautiful Sagittarius here. All right, so we have the King of Pentacles. Yeah, I see this King of Pentacles, Swords, Virgo, Capricorn, or this is just the masculine energy. Somebody who's very mature and nurturing. I do see this person give you some sort of advice here yeah, with the Six of Pentacles and the Cherry. They could be telling you about a counselor, okay? Or somebody is trying to direct you on something that's going to be like. So I feel like if somebody is giving you solid advice, Sagittarius, you definitely should take their advice. Okay, somebody is doing giving you some sort of advice that's going to direct you. I feel like it's a masculine. Okay, so yeah, we have the hermit. Yeah, somebody is like a guru. They're very learned or they really know about this subject or this field that y'all, whatever y'all talking about. Okay, somebody is giving you good advice. They are directing you. They're telling you, you should do this, you should do that. But I feel like somebody is actually giving you, you know, it's the right thing. The king of swords. Yeah, somebody is super fucking intelligent man the king of swords and the devil somebody can see beyond all kind of fucking veils and all that shit okay i feel like this is someone you are connecting with in some sort of way shape or form because this could be a partnership maybe y'all starting a business together um this could even be on a romantic setting for some of you okay just for a few of you this is something romantic but yeah somebody really knows what the fuck they're talking about okay somebody mind is really strong okay they really they i feel like too Okay, somebody like almost see shit before it happens. Somebody like, man, I can tell, I can see how that shit gonna go right now. Okay, if I was you, you should do this, you should do that. Okay, so yeah, we have the world card. All right, so somebody is, is it could be trying to convince you or tell you to end like maybe a contract, end this partnership, or find someone new to work with, collaborate, build with, or something like that. Whoever this masculine is, yeah, somebody is really enlightening, enlightening you. Okay. So I'm also dealing you. I'm getting you to be dealing with like a um, very obsessive air sign. Okay, somebody is very seems very like tied to you. Let's see what's the King of Swords Devil energy, please. All right, let's see. So yeah, the Hangman. No, this is somebody that's enlightening you. Period. Somebody is really enlightening you. You should listen. Okay, what's that? It's the swords. They can just be telling you about this Virgo, enlighten you about an air sign or a Capricorn. What's the Ace of Swords, Hermit? Okay, so yeah, the two of wands, insight, direction. 
Yeah, you definitely have like somebody around you, but okay, we have the death card. So this is okay. For so for some of y'all, this could be a Scorpio, maybe. But I feel like this is something that this is like an energy you cannot see. Okay, so this is like a crossover loved one, an angel, an ancestor that you are connecting with, Sagittarius. Yeah, the moon card. This is something you can this is a force that you cannot see, but you are connecting with it. They are giving you sound advice and direction, just period. Okay, just period. This is somebody, one of your angels, one of your ancestors that's trying to guide you either away from or just got, trying to guide you towards either new love, new relationship, or just self-love. Or they're trying to guide you to, to end something about this partnership, this relationship, or this contract. Or they are trying to tell you the truth about a Virgo for some of you. Okay, or like if this is somebody or this if this is a physical person, somebody who you can see like in a physical, if this is not somebody who passed over, this is someone that people, many people don't know that you and this person really have a bond or a relationship. It can be hidden. Okay, this is just like your little boo, boo or your, your, maybe your little sneaky link or some shit like that. But I'm definitely getting somebody who's giving you sound advice. Okay, or they really give you a sense of direction. I strongly with the Hermit and the Delphi and the Moon, I'm strongly, for some of you, I'm strongly getting is like a crossed over loved one, an auntie, an uncle, a, a father figure, somebody who crossed over. This could be a child who crossed over, a mother, a dad, somebody who crossed over. Okay, yeah, the temperance and the queen of wands. Yeah, this is an angel that's behind you, that's guiding you, that's, that's really directing you, telling you to where to go. Okay, that's, that's what's going on. All right, so what is it that this energy would like for Sagittarius? What, what is like the advice for Sagittarius? All right, so we have the four cups in reverse. So take the advice, Sagittarius. Okay, because the four cups, so the advice for you is to take the advice. Because the four of cups, oh, right, you're, you're not accepting something, okay? But when it's in the reverse, you're like, okay, boom, I'm going to accept this offer. I'm going to get up. I'm going to make something happen. I'm going to make it, you know, I'm going to accept this offer. Yeah, somebody could be trying to guide you and tell you, man, I think you should work here or you should try to fill out an application here, there, okay? Or somebody could be trying to, uh, this energy, this force is trying to direct you away from a job or to work with this um, fire sign, this other fire sign. Or the energy is trying to direct you out of a home. It's telling you to move away from a home, move out of your family home or go back to your family. Get out of that relationship. If it's toxic, the high priestess, somebody could have, like, yeah, this is some shit. Okay, so I'm definitely getting you getting insight and wisdom from different areas, from different um, energies. Sage, pay attention, okay? Take the advice. What's the four goes for the advice for Sagittarius? Yeah, the Queen of Swords, because somebody know what they're talking about, period. Okay, somebody is giving you good advice, so take it. Take something serious is the advice as well. The Page of Pentacles, yeah, reflect on something that somebody is telling you, okay? All right. So what's going to be the outcome? I don't This could be about anything, the advice could be also a self, if a queen of swords is trying to give you something, an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, if they're trying to taste you or make up or something like that, they are saying, hear this person out. Okay, you need to hear this person out. Something can also be ended with you in a, um, with you in a Scorpio, maybe a, a Virgo or something like that. All right, so what is the outcome? Okay, so the Eight of Cups. So the outcome is you walking away, you were abandoning something, Sag. Yeah, you making a tough decision to walk away or to abandon something here. All right, let's see. Yeah, Sag, but they somebody's definitely here guiding you, leaving you definitely have like like um, a sense of direction here. You have you been navigated. Okay, somebody is, is just showing you the way. Even if your angels could be living or talking through another person, I'm definitely getting your angels is nearby or close or guiding you. Okay, or trying to lead you away or to something. So you really need to pay attention at this time, my love. Okay. So we have, okay, clear the vessel. Somebody asks, what do they mean about clearing the vessel? Okay, so the vessel, clearing the vessel could mean many things. Clearing the vessel could, is the, the vessel is the path to your um, greatest health, your greatest prosperity, your greatest, you know, um, your greatest desire, okay? That's the vessel, the path, okay? That, that, that path is the vessel. So whatever is in the way of that path, that's what you need to clear because that vessel is what's going to lead you to, you know, happiness, abundance, prosperity, good love, and stuff like that. But if people are is standing in, the, in that path, which is that vessel, okay, you can't get what you want. 
All right, so clear the vessel, clear that path. It's, if you know that some, certain things is in, only, and you you got certain things, certain energies, certain mindsets, certain uh, tendencies that you're trying to take with you on the path that you know is not good for the path. You need to clear the vessel. Okay, that's what that what this what that card is telling you. So we have friendship. Okay, all right. So and we have improvise. So yeah, I'm definitely getting you have a good friend that's telling you. To improvise, either work with what you got. So somebody is definitely giving you some good advice. I feel like it's a good friend. Somebody's telling you to clear something or start something new or just work with what you got. Work with what you got or something like that. And then we have trust, okay? So it says, leave it to the unknown. Believe you will fly. Yeah, I feel like you really need to trust somebody's word or trust what somebody is saying. Okay, just period. All right, so that's what I got for you, though, my love. I will see you in your next video. Bye.